Now I'm going to take two swings real quick and I'm also going to play them back in slow motion. And I want you guys at home to really kind of think about what is the real difference in these swings. So this first swing that I'm going to take is going to be kind of looking more like a traditional what you guys would consider a cast or what a lot of coaching would call a cast. Now the second swing is going to be more of a normal swing with a good transition and everything's going to go into the ball nicely and we have a good transition. So when I play those back in slow motion, what makes them look different? We know they look different. We know one's bad and we know one's good. Well, it's actually extremely simple. And I'm going to show you guys how to not only understand what, what makes a good transition and what makes a good, a good swing really look good versus a cast. I'm also going to show you how easy that you can fix this in your swing. And then one day you can have your swing looking drastically different and start hitting the ball much more solid. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, guys, we got a lot of great content coming out this year. And if you don't want to miss out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the only way you can get notified when we come out with new content. And make sure you hit that like button. That really helps us grow the channel. And if you guys have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Leave them in the comment section below. Okay, so again, guys, that first swing, if we kind of break it down, when we get into the load stride position, I want you guys to really pay attention to the bat and where the bat is. So when we go into transition, you can see how this bat is above my shoulder. There's space in between my shoulder and the bat. This is going to lead to what, what most coaches would call a cast. But how do we fix this? We know this is what we want. What we want to see is more of a transition like we talk about in the pro speed hitting system in the max bat lag where you see all your good hitters when they go into transition, the bat starts to split their, the top of their shoulder, maybe a little bit above the shoulder to splitting the shoulder. And even sometimes as far as splitting the arm, depending on how much mobility they have in the wrist, this is the angle that the bat is on with all good hitters. Now, a lot of there's a lot of different instruction on you know out there that you know tries to get out of casting and whatnot. But guys, I'm telling you, it's a lot more simple than you think. If we can understand one simple concept, we can just pretty much eliminate casting by making it physically impossible. And all we have to know to do this is simply know where what bat the, or what angle the bat is at when we fire our hands, meaning whenever we start our swing, when we actually initiate our swing to the ball, what angle is our bat on? Guys, it's that simple. If you notice the cast swing, the bat, when we fire, when I actually go to swing the bat at the ball, the bat angle is going to be, let's say, more straight up and down. And so if we took this to the extreme and I put the bat straight up and down, when I fire the bat, if I don't compensate and get into a good transition, I will cast the bat will have almost no speed and it'll be kind of a weak hit to the left side so if you guys are out there and you hit a lot of inside pitches good but your outside pitches are super weak so if i set up for an outside pitch and i try to swing over that way i'm going to get a really really weak hit on the ball because i have no way to, to build some speed that is a pure cast so all we have to do if you guys haven't guessed already is understand we need to fire our bat from a more angled position so if I can get my bat down, so let's take it to the other extreme where I get my bat flat and I fire my hands from a flat position, that bat is going to be well into my, my transition position. So we call this the bat lag position in the, bat, in the pro speed hitting system. If we know that when my hands fire, if my bat is at a good angle, I'll be in a good transition. That's all we have to do to eliminate the cast. Now, just a real quick key checkpoint from the face on view um, you know, kind of a little sub checkpoint is when you get into the speed load, we talk about the bat angle in the pro speed hitting system. If there's a line drawn straight down from my hands, we need to make sure that we have just a little bit of angle inside that line. Now we don't need a ton, but we definitely don't want the bat on the other side of the line. So as long as we have a little bit of angle inside that line and the bat's not hiding behind our head, we are going to be in a good position. And then if I don't change anything and I have a good angle here with my bat, and I fire my hands from this angle, I'm going to guarantee myself to have a good transition. So what you guys need to do to work on this is simply understand the max lag checkpoints and understand that we want that bat to be splitting the shoulder in half to maybe a little bit below the shoulder. You know, this is on a down the middle pitch. Sometimes on an inside pitch, the bat will be up a little bit, will be up a little bit higher, but we're just talking about a nice down the middle pitch and starting to correct this problem. What we want to do is we want to get it to where that bat is going to be splitting our shoulder. So what we need to do is simply, you guys, when you're at home working on this, find whatever angle is going to force you to get that bat below your shoulder. Some of you guys might need to be a little flatter. Some of you guys need, might need to be real flat. 
but some of you guys might be able to be at a nice 45 degree angle, which is going to be the optimal angle, but roughly about a 45. And what we do is we just simply start working from firing our hands from a little bit different position. But we have to be very diligent about making sure that our hands start when that bat's on the right angle. If I start here and then I lift my bat up and then swing, well, then I've just kind of defeated the whole purpose. We got to make sure we start our hands with the right angle. So a good way to start on this is just nice, easy swings where we can say we're going to start with a much flatter angle and making sure that I start my swing with that bat at a flatter angle. I'll show you what that looks like here from the face on view. And it's great to do from the load stride position. Go ahead and get into your load stride and make sure I have my little bit of angle inside my hands. I'm going to make sure the bat's a little flatter and then just make a nice swing. Guys, if you do this, your transition is going to automatically change for, uh, just hugely. And not only will you be able to get more speed, you're going to be able to start hitting those outside pitches. Is that something that you're struggling with so much easier? So you remember before I tried to cast and hit this outside pitch. Well, if I just simply do the same thing and I change my angle, well, now I can get the bat on the ball and I can get some speed into it. So get the right angle, play around with it a little bit so that you can get where you, where you, where you want to be. Make sure it looks good on camera, even if it doesn't feel great at first. Then start hitting the ball good with it and then start speeding it up and hitting it harder and harder and harder. And you guys, if you do this, you're going to just right away, you should feel some more speed in the bat. It might feel a little bit different to you, but sometimes that different feeling just means we're changing things for the better. And also when you start taking this release and getting the bat coming from the right position, we can get more speed. Then we can start adding things like a weight shift in with the speed so we can allow our swing to swing faster. So I guys, I got a great bonus for you. I'm going to play a preview of our best weight shift video from the membership website that you can get instant access to by clicking on the iCard or the link in the description below. It's going to show you how you can couple the weight shift with a great bat angle with a, and a great release. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to now start showing how our weight shift is involved with the release of the bat. We just simply need to understand exactly where we want to be in our weight shift. So we're going to get a lot more specific. We're going to be talking about the timing of getting the back pocket in front of the tee at the same time we're hitting the ball. But the first thing we need to do, guys, is we need to rep this out and make sure that we can definitely get the weight transfer that we need. So we're going to put our arms across our chest. We're going to get at least 100 repetitions 